वेलकम फ्रेंड्स वी कंटिन्यू द रिवाइज ऑफ द पाइथन लैंग्वेज इन दिस ट्यूटोरियल फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी सी द बेजिक्स ऑफ लैंग्वेज इंडेसेशन इन पाइथन इंडेसेशन इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट देर आर नो एंड एंड बिगिन डेलिमिनेटर्स लाइक एफ एंड जी ग्रुपिंग ऑफ स्टेटमेंट्स आर डन ऑन द बेजिक्स ऑफ देयर इंडेसेशन स्टेटमेंट्स एट सेम इंडिटेशंस आर ग्रुप टूगेदर इन अ सिंगल ब्लॉक इट्स रिकमेंडेड टू यूज फोर स्पेस इंस्टेड ऑफ स्टेप्स हैज मार्क्स टार ऑफ कमेंट फॉर सिंगल लाइन हियर वी हैव अ सिंपल कोड ऑन द स्क्रीन ए इज इक्वल टू टेन इफ ए डिवाइड बाई टेन इज इक्वल टू वन देन प्रिंट आई थिंक and print the value was and the value and the print is equal to 10 it is actually print now we see the concept of string there is a no character data type in python strings can be quoted in single slash or triple slash quotes special character can be inserted by using the escape character n some commonly used escape sequence like double slash for a slash in a string single slash for in a string single slash in double quote for in a string single double slash for a new line single slash r for carriage return and many more now we see the tuple tuple is an immutable order sequence of item tuples can be considered as constant array there can have a nesting of tuples one inside other elements in a tuple does not have to be same type assignment to t is equal to 1 2 3 4 4 abc 2.34 and 10 11 elements can be accessed in way similar to an array like example we initialize t is equal to 1 2 3 4 abc 2.34 and 10 and 11 then we have print the t of 0 so the value is 1 and then we print the t of 4 so the value is a b and c and when the we print the t of 6 then the output is 10 and 11 now we see the list list is a mutable order sequence of items items in a list can be added or removed there can have a nesting of list one inside other elements in a list does not have to be same type assignment to l is equal to 1 2 3 4 4 abc 2.34 and 10.11 data access and assignment similar to an array i is equal to 1 2 3 4 abc 2.34 and 10.11 so we print the i 0 so the value is 1 which is the index 0 and then we print the i 6 then the answer is 10 and 11 which is the uh, index is 6 now we see the dictionaries dictionaries are containers which stores item in key value pairs dictionaries are mutable but does not have any denied sequence key can be any integer or a string and value can be any item as in dictionaries values can be accessed by using the key assignment as to d is equal to f key colon value 
कॉलन वैल्यू ए बी सी कॉलन वन टू थ्री फोर जी वैल्यू कैन बी एक्सेस यूजिंग द की एंड कीज आर यूनिक डी इज इक्वल टू एफ की कॉलन वैल्यू वन कॉलन वैल्यू एंड ए बी सी कॉलन वन टू थ्री फोर देन वी हैव प्रिंट द डी ऑफ क्यू सो द आउटपुट इज वैल्यू and in same way we write the d of 1 then the our output is as usual the value now we see the index and slices list tuple string and many more can be sliced to get part of a data from them index of similar to array index refers to position of data slice used to retrieve data within a particular index we have a small code s is equal to lug manipal so we have to print s of 0 so the our output is l which is uh, the index is 0 then we have the print s of 2 so our output is g because uh, l u g means its index is 0 1 and 2 means the g is situated at position number 2 then we print the s in the bracket 0 and colon 3 it prints the 0 till 2 3 but not including 3 so our output is l u g now we see the variables there are no prior type declaration requires for variables a variable can refer to any data type like tuple list dictionary integer string complex or any other object variables are references to allocated memory references are always said use function list and old dict to obtain a copy l is equal to 1 2 3 4 and d is equal to f of key colon lg now we print d of key so the our output is 1 2 3 and 4 now we see the dictionary operation there are many dictionary operations d dot has key it is return the true if key by values exist as return false d dot items it returns the list of two value tuple with the r element key and second value d dot keys it returns the list of all keys in dictionary in this way d dot values d dot it returns and many more operations in python languages we continue the other part of revises in next tutorial thank you friends